Have you ever wished to wear a watch backwards? Many watches with gorgeous movements display them behind a case only for your wrists to gaze upon it half a millimeter away. Wish no further, Corum's got this admiral for you. Designer note subject 124. Like, comment, and subscribe for content you'd like to see next. Follow us at Instagram at DesignAtelierRuba for behind-the-scenes content. Email us at DesignAtelierRuba at gmail.com. This video is brought to you by Shiva's Gold and Gems. In 1960, Corum released the Admiral's Cup model with a very different square case shape. In 1983, the famous Admiral design was reinterpreted with nautical pennants corresponding to the International Maritime Code and serving as our markers on a 12-sided bezel. Through the years, Corum created more iterations of the Admiral, boasting some of the relevant complications such as the chronograph up to high-end calibers that boast tourbillons and minute repeaters. That's the brief history of the Corum Admiral. The current collection extends the sport chic fine watchmaking fiber down to our present day. The Admiral 45 Open Work Automatic has a case diameter of 45 mm as the name suggests. It has a 14.30 mm thickness and 100 m of water resistance. This watch boasts an unusual number of materials like brass, titanium, and gold all around a sapphire crystal sandwich. Inside this timepiece is the in-house developed automatic caliber CO297 that has a 42-hour power reserve and 4 Hz high beat frequency. At these measurements, this watch is substantial in proportions and very much desirable for the modern taste. Skeletonized dials considered, much room is needed and occupied on the case dial and thickness. This substantial presence is also felt on the cuff. My 15cm wrist feels unqualified to be strapped by this wonderful watch, but I'm sure much manlier wrists can wear them quite nicely. This Admiral does employ an engineering technique of angling the strap downward, making it wear more snug and enjoyable. Corum's engineering ability is also present with the use of multiple materials such as brass, grade 5 titanium, and 5N 18 karat rose gold. If you need to see these things together to believe that they could actually work, well, you're looking at it. It works quite harmoniously. These materials are all done with varying textures as well. This further enhances the pleasure of owning something that is technically intricate. The case alone got generous treatments of high polished facets and large areas of brush finish. This is also accented with PBD coated titanium that not only adds deep contrast to the case but also slims down the perception a little. With all these surface features, the light plate traces the profile of the watch and is simply mesmerizing to look at. Texture variety is not only reserved for the case. The rubber strap also receives this application, with the top part having a fabric pattern sewn over the galvanized rubber. The underside of the rubber is also molded to provide some well-needed breathing room for your skin. This is then tipped off with a signed triple-bladed 18 karat rose gold buckle. Operating this timepiece is rather simple despite its elaborate dial. Unscrew the crown, pop it out, and set the time. The only complications in this watch is a power reserve scale at the 3 o'clock position and a running seconds disc at 9. This open work dial delivers the fine craftsmanship at the 12 and 6 o'clock positions that houses the mainspring and escapement respectively. So far, we've only navigated the surface features of the Admiral. 
Diving into the details opens up a wealth of treasures. Up close, the bridges takes much more of your attention, and deservedly so. Just look at it. The sheer angularity of the structures lends to the depth of the tile. The attention to details is unbelievable. When most movement bridges are rather flat, these bridges are angled upwards, casting pleasing shadows over the discs. Each bridge also has chamfered edges that's perfectly finished and aligns itself to the 12 indexes that represent 12 nautical flags that's famous to the Admiral line. This really is the whole movement in full display for your entertainment. The hands of this watch is equally opulent. Though fiend in shape, yet angular in form, these hands launches itself above the dial. They are delicately open work and is made of 5N gold as well. This dodecagonal dial retains Quorum's identifiable profile and puts it to adequate use and balanced spacing. While others simply cut the dial and slap on the word open work, this Admiral is actually designed to work within the case and dial's form. This in-house caliber movement structure is specifically built to showcase its many functional parts. The CO297 is finished with a slew of polish and brush techniques that livens up every part under this clear sapphire crystal. Each disc has its own personality. Each quadrant gets its time to shine, especially over the dark matte finish plate. Behind the watch, where most exhibition case bags would showcase the movement, we can only see just the rotor that looks identical to maritime steering wheels. At the side of the case is a large crown that's also signed with a quorum emblem in relief. Nautical themed watches are few and far in between. If you ever come across one, it'd be hard to find a level of refinement quite like what you could see here in this Admiral 45 open work. It's an elegant watch that demands you to look at it, and yet defies conventions with its use of materials and design. Many brands are neither bold nor have enough brass to show you what's under the case. This is what happens when a company goes above and beyond to show you its craft, on the dial and not behind it. This beautiful timepiece is available at Chivas Gold and Gems, located in Aruba in St. Martin.